To watch these important lessons, subscribe to DP Education's YouTube channel right now. Click on the bell icon to stay updated on the latest lessons. Sri Lanka's largest free online school, DP Education. Hello, guys and girls. We have uh, the sixth question here today. We are with the 22-23 uh, business and accounting. The latest paper, the latest past paper you have. We have done three chapters. Three chapters in this paper. That means we have three videos already uploaded on DP education. 22, 23, OL, all level paper. This is the second paper. The second paper. Guys, this is the second paper. You know that, right? Uh huh. Yeah. And sixth question. Sixth question, which means we have done first question in the first uh, video, then the second and third in the next video. The second video. Um, fourth and fifth in the third video. This is the fourth video. Sixth question is um the fourth video sixth and no sixth 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 we'll do the sixth question here the last question which is the seventh question we'll do in the next video that is the financial statement question here we go write the element of production cost relevant to the following each expense write the element of production cost guys how many elements of production cost you now should know now you should know how many elements of production cost now you should now you must know how many all together how many three no six you should know six right um direct costs there are three direct costs and there are three indirect costs, right? Direct costs, one, two, three. Indirect costs, one, two, three. All together, six. Direct material, direct labor, direct other expenses. Indirect material, indirect labor, indirect other expenses. So now they're asking that. Payment for a fashion designer of a garment factory. Guys, um, as we know, actually, um, the uh, fashion designers or the designers fees is uh, it, it depends uh, on his designs of course it depends on his designs <laughs> he's paid for his designs right so each uh, design that he uh, de designs each design that he designs um, it, it becomes a new product, right? New designs, new product. So, <laughs> wow, well, can I put this? He must be paid uh, for his designs, number of designs. So, with the unit C designs, he, his payment increases. So, it's a direct expense, right? It's not a direct material. He is, he is not direct labor. He, he is direct. He becomes a direct other expense. This cost becomes a direct other, right? Yeah, it's, it's just like um, patent license fees, or uh, yeah, patent license fees. If uh, um, an author writes a book. Right, the author writes a book, a whole book, right? One new brand new product. The book becomes a brand new product, right? And the book is given to a publisher to produce it. 
and the publisher must pay royalties to the author. How many books he uh, prints and sells? According to the number of books. If the book sells like very successfully, number of copies go up and up and up and up, 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 right? The payment to the author also goes up, 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 right? So it's like, yeah, direct. Just like direct materials and direct labor. Direct other expense. Next, we have payment for using water to mix the clay in a brick production. Oh, brick production. And they're asking the water. Hmm? In brick production, water. That is uh, actually a, a material used for making pr uh, bricks, but it's not the direct material. Direct material in bricks is clay. <laughs> direct material becomes clay. But the water is added in order to produce the brick, but it doesn't become uh, like the main material, right? So it, it becomes indirect. It should be a, an indirect material. Indirect material, okay? Payment for the water, the water bill in a brick production basis. Next question. All right, four items included in a bank statement sent by a commercial bank. Oh no, you don't know about bank statements? Huh? Bank statements. A bank statement is a printed statement sent by the bank to a business at the end of each month for each and every month. Mentioning all the um, transactions the business has done through their current account. Why am I defining the bank? You don't know the banks. Of course, you know the bank statement. Oh, you you should know what is a bank statement. Oh yeah. By now, if you don't know what is a bank statement, I mean, you should redo the bank account and bank reconciliation lesson fully. Four items included in a bank statement sent by two current account holders, okay? Number one, tell me if you know deposited checks, checks deposited, yeah? Mm. Not deposited but unrealized, no, no, no. Don't say that. Deposited but unrealized means we have deposited the check but the check has not been realized yet. That means those checks are not appearing on, on bank statements. Deposited checks. Deposited and realized checks. Deposited and realized checks. You got it? Then checks issued. Checks issued. E issued issued checks. What else? Standing order payments. Standing orders. Huh? We call them SOs, standing orders. Direct remittances by debtors. Huh? Direct remittances. Direct remits. Hmm. Four items. Direct remit. What else? Bank charges. You can write so many. Next question. Sanhinda. Sanhinda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sanhinda, Sanhinda. That's the name of a bookshop. Sanhinda book printers. 
received an order to print thousand copies. Oh. Okay. Uh, order to print thousand copies of children's book of a children's book in January 2023. The production was completed according to the order on 31st January 2023. And the expenses paid costs are given as follows. Printing of papers, production supervisor salary, a printing machine operator salary, glue thread paint and other materials, electricity bills, salary of watcher, a royalty paid per book, royalties. <laughs> Repairing expenses of printing machines, purchasing new printing machine. No any stock of materials remaining as at 31st January 2023. Right. Alright. This is the end of the month. No any stock remaining, no closing stock remaining. So all the materials have been put to the production and used in production and finished. Okay. All the materials. No materials remaining. Nothing left, which means, yeah, what? No closing stuff. Yep. Okay, that means you, you can take the entire uh, printing papers cost as direct materials. Oh, I think we have to prepare the statement of production cost. That's it. What do we have to do? We have to do the statement of production cost for the month of January. Okay, let's draw it ASAP. Uh, it's a simple statement, guys. Simple statement. A uh, one wider column for the descriptions. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And two narrow columns for the amounts. And that's it in a simple format, right? Just like this. Um, we go. Sun in the bookshop. So sun in the printers. Four. So the month ended January 2023. January 2023. This is the month. Yeah. Let's uh, put our titles for this statement. Sun in the Sun in the book printers. Mm -hmm. Produ a statement of production cost. Cost for January twenty twenty three. Okay, that's how you should uh, mention the head. Head. I mean. The head titles, the name of the statement, and how does it go? How does the um, the order of items? First, prime cost. You should calculate prime cost. Okay, prime cost has uh, three main uh, elements. No? How many? <laughs> three, three, of course, three. Uh, direct money, direct labor, direct other leave space then you should mention the overhead cost the overhead cost again has three main elements uh, indirect material indirect labor indirect other expenses simple format right of course now categorize the given costs under prime as direct material, or as direct costs and indirect costs. That's the first thing you should do when you get a question like this to prepare. Uh, yeah. Yeah, production cost statement. Yeah. Printing papers of 
a printing business is the main material so direct materials production supervisor salary supervisors managers watchers security guards cleaners drivers blah 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 all are indirect laborers indirect so production supervisor indirect labor printing machine operator ah. printing papers just like printing papers printing machine operator guys printing machine operator is the main guy who hands on is printing the books putting the papers and putting the ink and and um, operating the machine beep 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 and uh, takes the books the finished book the printing machine operator is direct labor glue thread paint and other materials just like it's given the way it's given you can guess all the materials are indirect materials indirect electricity indirect salary of watcher just like i said indirect royalty paid just beef like two three minutes ago i explained uh, patent license fees royalty fees paid to the author of the book is a direct expense of a printer just two three minutes ago i explained it's a direct other expense direct other repairing expenses of printing machine repairing indirect indirect purchasing a new <laughs> it doesn't go to your production cost statement because it's a non contested purchasing cost all right here we go let's record them take printing papers under direct materials 80000 no other direct materials are there no other direct materials are there so just take this one as direct materials all right direct materials Direct materials. Printing papers. How much was given? As I can remember, 80,000 was given for direct materials, printing paper. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep, it's correct. Um, production super, it is indirect. Printing machine operator, direct labor, take it, 60,000, direct labor, direct labor, machine operator, salary, okay. Direct labor, machine operators. Salary sixty thousand any doubts? No machine operator salary done. Then direct material, direct labor, direct other. There was a direct other sum here. Royalty paid per book, direct other twenty per book. All right. Don't get fooled by this trick, huh? It's an old trick. It's a 20 per book. Per book. 
20 per book per for one book okay how many books thousand copies which means 20 into thousand twenty thousand that is a, a <laughs> direct other cost direct other expense um okay uh, royalties 20,000 there we go done next overhead cost mm -hmm. overhead cost don't write OH and you have to write the full name the full form okay I'm just using short forms to make it quicker. Don't use sh short forms, okay? Do write the name. Overhead cost. Overhead cost. Okay. Take all the indirect, indirect, indirect. Take all the indirect. Here we go. Production supervisor salary, 40,000. Take it. Supervisor salary. Uh, indirect material, 5,000. Take it. Supervisor salary, 40,000. Supervisors. Salary, 40. Indirect material, glue, thread, blah, blah, blah. All the uh, materials given. Glue, thread, and stuff, 5,000. Yeah, what else? Glue, thread, paint, and other material, 5,000. Done. Electricity also indirect, 15,000. Salary of watcher, 28,000. Electricity, 15. Okay. Hum, hum, hum. Salary of watcher. As I can remember. Yeah, salary of watcher. Yeah. Watcher. Uh, that means he's like a he's like a security guard. The watcher. Watcher salary. Watcher salary. The guy who is like uh, staying as a security. Watchers. Salary twenty eight. Right, oh, is that all? Extended lines down, 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 down. All right. Anything else? We took all the stuff. No, we didn't take all the stuff. Uh, we didn't take watcher. No, we took watcher salary twenty eight thousand. We took it. Took it. Uh, we took the direct other. We took it. We took this uh, repairing expenses indirect. Indirect. We have to take that three thousand repairing expenses. Repairing. Mm, we don't take this. No, don't take this. Repairing expenses of machinery, 3,000. We have to take that one. 
रिपेयरिंग एक्सपेंसिस ऑफ मशीनरी आफ्टर वॉचर सैलरी रिपेयरिंग ऑफ मशीनरी रिपेयर्स खमो खम 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 रिपेयर टू मशीनरी थ्री डन क्या डन जस्ट टेक द टोटल एड द ओवर हेड कॉस्ट एडिशन ऑफ द ओवर हेड कॉस्ट एज टोटल ओवर हेड कॉस्ट एड इट विद द प्राइम कॉस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू टेक द प्राइम कॉस्ट राइट वट इज द प्राइम कॉस्ट एंड वट इज द ओवर हेड कॉस्ट टेक द एडिशन एटी प्लस सिक्सटी हा मच इज द एडिशन एटी प्लस How much? One hundred and forty plus twenty one hundred sixty thousand. Uh, forty plus five forty five sixty. Forty plus five forty five forty five plus fifteen sixty thousand. Sixty plus twenty eight eighty eight thousand plus three. Ninety-one thousand. Now take the total, guys. Take the total. That is the total production cost for the period. One hundred sixty plus ninety-one thousand two hundred fifty-one thousand. Is that correct now? Ah, huh? is that correct? Do your calculation. Don't wait for me to do the calculation. Okay. The total production cost for the period. Mm hmm. That should be total production. Cost right. See. This is it. Get that. Okay. Can you see this? Two hundred fifty one thousand. That's it. I make it smaller. You want me to make it smaller? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, it's not a big deal. All right. Third part done. Oh, mm, that's a B part too. Calculating the production cost of a children book, one book. They're asking to calculate the unit cost. Okay, total. They are asking us to calculate the unit. One unit, calica, one item. Hmm. Total production cost divided by number of units. Two hundred fifty-one. Just now we calculated. Uh, number of units. How much number of units? Thousand. It was given right here. See, thousand copies. It's given right. Then unit cost. How to calculate unit cost? One children's book. One book. So unit cost. Equals what? Yeah. Two hundred fifty-one thousand divided by one uh, thousand. Total cost divided by number of units. It becomes uh, two hundred and fifty-one rupees. Is two hundred fifty. 
Yeah, that's it. Uh, we are going to the next question. Fourth part. Last part of this. Last part of this one. Sixth one. Favorable bank balance, same means business, 38,000. Uh-huh, it's a bank rec question. It's not a big deal. The bank rec question, the favorable balance is given as 38,000 in same minutes bank account. Okay, guys, this is the business bank account. It's a debit balance of the business bank account. Favorable means cash is there. How much? 38,000. Um, and 38,000 as at 31st March 2023. On the same day, the balance of the bank statement 21,000. That's the problem here. That is why we have to prepare the bank reconciliation because the bank statement showed a different balance. Bank statement balance was 21,000. Okay. Uh, but same in his bank account showed 38,000. It's a problem. No, it's not a problem. We'll tell you that. That's why we have to prepare the bank reconciliation. Required. What is required? Hmm? Huh? What do you want me to do now? Huh? You want me to do now? You want me to prepare the required part, the bank reconciliation. First of all, adjusting the balance of the bank account. Adjusted bank account, preparing the bank reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 that's it. Oh, yeah, where are we going to do it? Can we do it down, 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 down? No. I have a better idea. We'll keep the question like this and we'll do the, the answer here. We have space here, right? See, enough space. Favorable balance of the bank, uh, balance of same in his business. Adjusting the balance of the bank account. It's just a T account. It doesn't matter. The bank account can be a T account, right? This is the adjusted bank account of same in his business. No need of going um, very far down. It's going to be just two, three entries. So like four lines will be enough for the adjusted bank account. Adjusted bank account of say mini business. Put the opening balance. BBF balance of the opening day balance brought forward that is 38,000 in the debit side because it's a favorable balance. Mm -hmm. Balance is favorable, it says here favorable. Now, take the necessary items from the given information. Number one, is it necessary to take this to the adjusted bank account? When you're preparing the bank account, adjusting the bank account of Semini's business, Semini must have, um, I mean, Semini or Semini's bookkeeper, uh, items that they have not included in their bank account, not in this balance of the bank account. Is it, is the first item like that? Check of 14,000 deposited during the month. Of March was not realized. Semini has deposited a check in the bank, or maybe the bank will be on, on this side. Okay, you think that bank is on this side? A check which is deposited by Semini in the bank. So the check has gone to the bank, but they have not yet realized the the cash for that for that check has not yet come to the bank account. So. It is not in the bank account, but it is already recorded in Semini's business uh, bank book. It's not yet gone to the account. 
not yet realized by the bank but it has already gone to the bank account because say mini he herself deposited it she knows that this 14000 uh, is going to the account so she has uh, entered it in her bank account, business bank book it doesn't go to the adjusted what for it's already there yeah so this goes to the if it doesn't go to the uh, this thing business bank account it should go to the bank reconciliation statement okay are you clear with that are you This one should go to the bank rec. So I'll just write rec here. Rec. It's a short form for reconciliation. Yeah. Next bank loan installment 45,000 paid by the bank. Ah, that is paid by the bank. We don't know. We have not yet, you know, realized that. Uh, we have not yet uh, in the in the in the business of same money. They haven't you know, been informed by the bank. The bank pays standing orders, so the bank has paid. It's not yet entered in the same money's bank book, business bank. That should go to the business adjusted bank book. Bank loan installment. It's a 45,000 installment paid by the bank. See, paid by the bank. Hmm. 45,000 paid by the bank. Standing order. Hmm. So it's a payment. Must be in the credit side. Standing order. Installment loan installment okay installment forty five thousand done we took it took it if you took it you take it take it and take it take it take it take it take it Next check of 15,000 issued to a creditor during the month of March was not presented to the bank. Presented, it's not presented to the bank by the creditor, but check of 15,000 issued by Semini. Issued means she writes a check and puts the uh, value of the check and she signs it. And she issues the check to a creditor. Which means she knows that the check has gone to the bank. So she has entered the check into her bank account. No need to enter it again. That means it goes to the REC bank REC. It doesn't go to the registered bank account. It doesn't go to the registered bank account. This goes to the bank REC. Unprecedented. Here we go, last item. <laughs> uh, data deposited 27,000 directly in the bank account. We don't know. We don't know who deposited money in our account. Who is putting money to our account? Huh? Mm, a debtor. We don't know. I mean, same means people. The business people. They don't know. It's a direct entrance. So, it's not in the bank account. That must be entered to be adjusted. Yep, direct remittances. I'll just write remit. How much is it? This one, 27,000. Okay, we took this one too. And we're done with the items. Done. Balance it.
obviously the uh, higher total or the greater total comes in the debit side so you add and put the total here just like you balance a normal account right it's a normal account ledger account zero 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 five from the 15 three plus two five with the remainder six sixty five thousand sixty five thousand minus forty five thousand it's twenty thousand is the balance balance cd is twenty thousand all right here we go we are done with the adjusted bank account now we have the bank rec to prepare let's prepare the bank rec it's gonna be great and it's looking very good everything is so straight and shut up bank rec reconciliation statement you start the bank reconciliation statement with the adjusted bank account balance with the adjusted bank account balance adjusted bank account It's 20,000, right? That's what we calculated for all this time. We were doing this, yeah? 20,000. I just said bank account balance, 20,000. Or you can write balance as per adjusted, balance as per adjusted bank account for this description, yeah? It's the same thing. Now what you do is, you think, 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 think in your heads. Oh, okay. Now, uh, 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 the bank account of the business is corrected and it is adjusted. Uh, and, and that balance is 20,000. Mm. Okay, okay. Mm. Think, think. Okay, we have two um, uh, uh, items remaining. Two items remaining. This one and this one. Right, this one and this one right first is uh, a check of fourteen thousand deposited during the month uh same he has deposited this fourteen thousand check hmm, in the bank account the check has gone to the bank okay check has gone which means it's a bank account balance increasement if that check actually you know it was if it was put to the account but the problem here is deposited during the month but was not realized the bank has not yet realized not yet taken the cash uh, for that check but Semini has entered when he when she deposited the check into the bank account so to uh, tally this balance with the bank statement balance which is the 21,000 we take out that 14,000 which was entered but the bank did not enter yet check of 14,000 it's called unpresented checks no 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 unrealized checks unrealized normally you add things first and then you uh, subtract the things the this thing should be subtracted this is called unrealized unrealized normally in the bank reconciliation statement guys you mention the things adding first then the things um, that you are minusing second this is a 14,000 check That should be minus, so it's under this one. What is this one? The remaining one. 
it's this so this is done check of 15,000 issued to a creditor this lady girl Semini, has issued this check she has issued this check 15,000 issued when she issued the check when she wrote the check to the creditor mentioned the value of the check and signed the check and when she issued the check to the creditor she has already credited in her bank account that means that amount is already deducted from the bank account bank book business bank book. but the problem is the creditor didn't present it it's not yet presented so the bank they didn't they deduct it yet because the creditor didn't present it to the bank bank didn't deduct it yet so we add that unpresented check to tally this balance with the bank statement balance how much is it 27 it should not presented this one 15,000 yeah yeah not presented 15,000 I'm putting the, the, the values directly to the third column to make it easier right now we are done with all the items it's just a matter of calculating the final value let's see whether we get the final value the final value should be this yeah the bank statement balance 20 plus it should be my uh, added right so 20 plus 15 it's 35 35 from 35 you subtract 14 the answer is 35 21,000. This is the answer, right? Oh, didn't we tally it? We tallied it. See, it's tally with this. So it means it means you are done, you are correct. You have done it correct. You write the description as what? Balance. You write it like this. Balance as per a bank statement. Voila. We are done with that. That means we are done with the last part of the sixth question. If you want to look at the entire thing, here you go. This is the entire thing. Looks like that. Okay, guys. Um, uh, we are going to end this video with the sixth question. And uh, I'm going to meet you again with the next question. That is the last question, seventh one. In the next video. Until then, have a good time and uh, do your work. Be good. Work hard. Play harder. When you work, you work. When you play, you play. Don't get mixed up with those two. Thank you very much. I'm going to see you again. Bye-bye. To watch these important lessons, subscribe to DP Education's YouTube channel right now. Click on the bell icon to stay updated on the latest lessons. Sri Lanka's largest free online school, DP Education.